In April of 2004, I went on vacation in northern France. It was a trip I had been planning since my sophomore French class in high school, and I wanted to visit all the places I had learned about in that class. On the first day of my trip, I flew into Paris and looked for my hotel. When I arrived to check in, they informed me that the hotel was overbooked and that I would have to go to another hotel. I was pretty worried, but the new hotel turned out to be nicer, so it all worked out. I spent the rest of the day walking around town, trying to figure out the metro system. The next morning, I rented a car and headed west for Chartres, which is a large and unique cathedral that showcases architectural styles from different eras with its two distinct spires. The shorter spire and facade are left over from a 12th century fire that destroyed most of the cathedral. The taller spire was added in the 16th century, reflecting a newer, more flamboyant architectural style. After Chartres, I drove to Carnac in the region of northwestern France called Bretagne. This town is famous for its rows and rows of mysterious, arranged stones that date back several thousand years BC. No one is quite sure what purpose the stones serve, but many believe that they may represent astrological arrangements. After visiting a few other towns in Britannia, I drove northeast to the medieval walled village of Mont Saint-Michel. At low tide, the village is surrounded by silt, but at high tide, it becomes an island. A narrow road winds its way up and around the village to the abbey at the top. On the drive back to Paris, I stopped at Giverny, which is where painter Claude Monet had his famous gardens, and created many of his famous Impressionist works. After returning the car to the rental agency in Paris, I spent the last day of my trip at Versailles which King Louis XIV transformed from a royal hunting lodge into his great palace. The gardens at Versailles are truly amazing, stretching back as far as one can see. Highlighted by various fountains and statues depicting stories from Greek mythology. Even though I got to see a lot of amazing things on my trip, I still plan on going back sometime and seeing all of the other things I remember from my French class that I couldn't get to. Au revoir.